gut. Einmal klatschen, bitte. Focus. Good. So. <lacht> We are back. We are back. Here in our office. I don't know if you ever have been really in our office. This our office. This back there is where we edit our photos. And today we want to show you guys how to make a sky replacement in your photos in under one minute. I hope I can do that. I, I haven't tested it before, but it should. You work. have to. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> it should work under a minute. And yeah, it's a super cool tool. If you're out there, for example, driving around on a road trip and you just don't have the time to stop there and stay there for two days for the perfect moment. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's on the noon or something like that and you have a super boring sky. Yeah. or a super clear sky but you want some clouds so we show you how to make that and for that we throw you out for a little walk shoot some pictures and after that we jump back to the computer and show you how you can change the sky in under a minute I hope I will do that you can do that so <laughs> with a click we swing you out and then after that we come back so go <laughs> And so fast we are outside to take some pictures to show you where you can or could replace the sky. Um, when we typically use that is when we are on the go or when we don't want to wake up super early in our vacations or on the weekend because we wake up every at 5 a.m. and then on Saturday also wake up at 5 a.m. just to get the perfect light and golden hour. <laughs> it's sometimes super hard or especially when we were back in Scotland um, sometimes it's just not possible because you were driving and driving all day and then you find an epic spot and you want to take an amazing picture there but it's in the middle of the day, the sun is super right, super up and the sky is super boring that's with the no clouds. with no clouds. Mm -hmm. That's a typical situation when we do sky replacement. So we went out. Today is a typical day when we would do that. I will show you around. Just show you that. So we're in a little hiking path where we go sometimes. And as you can see over there, super beautiful trees and a super boring sky. <laughs> so when we would make a picture here, it wouldn't be that nice. And that's the classic one when we change the sky. So we will walk down there to make one or two pictures and then show you later um, how we can change it and make it a little bit better just with a magic Photoshop. <laughs> so let's go a few more steps and then shoot some pictures. My 16 to 35, my absolute or our absolute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Favorite lens, super wide, and you can zoom a little bit. And we will try to make a little beautiful video right here with the sun and the trees in the back, and maybe Claudia in the front. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> let's see. So, um, let's put the camera on the tripod mm -hmm. and try to shoot some pictures. And if it's not good, we just hike further and see if we can do the picture somewhere else here. Yeah. So, not the perfect spot. I'm totally untrapped now. <laughs> um, we go further and see if we find another spot where we can show it better because the light is super intense now and that's the reason why we go further. Well, we had to reshoot it one or two times because I jumped S cross and that was super impossible to focus on Claudia. And what we did now, what I just can uh, recommend, when you have not such a super majestic special background, try to change the angle. So what Claudia did, she went down. She went down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and just went behind some leaves like here. Yeah. 
to get a special look and a special viewpoint. So that's what we always try to do when we don't have super special landscapes or stuff. What do you think? Yeah, from here looks quite nice. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> And we're back guys! Focus yeah. is there. So, we went out, as you saw a few seconds ago, for a little bit of shooting for the sake of the tutorial. I hope the picture um, came out good, but Claudia made an amazing job, of course. Of course. Of course. So, we will take you guys straight to the computer um, and show you how to change the sky in under a minute. Or maybe if it's exactly 60 seconds, is it okay too? <laughs> so say bye to Claudia because I will do the clicking alone and it's okay? Yeah. So bye Claudia. <laughs> straight into the computer guys. Go! So guys and welcome in my computer. We will straight jump into it and I show you how it works. As you can see, I already opened the picture I want to work with. Claudia made an amazing job on this one. She went down on a very low angle and put some grass in front to give the picture some depth and I made a stupid jump to give the picture a little bit more dynamic. What I'm gonna do now is I will just apply a preset we recently did for our Switzerland preset pack. I really like that. We will talk about presets maybe in, an, in another tutorial. Um, the second thing I will do is I will level the picture a little bit. Ba bam And that's it for me in Lightroom. Of course you can edit your picture wherever you want. You can edit it in Photoshop or as I told you, wherever you want. I just can recommend edit it before you add the sky because you want to work with your RAWs if you do it with RAWs. And for me that's just the right way to do it. Um, second thing, well, we will jump now into Photoshop <coughs> for the sky replacement. For that you just have to right click at the lower end uh, on the picture. Go to edit and edit in Photoshop CC 2018 or which version you all are using actually. Um, I already did that because it always takes a little while. So here's our picture. So we want to replace this boring blue sky. Okay, honestly, the sky is pretty nice here, but I want more drama, a little bit more clouds, make the picture a little bit more interesting. So for that, the first thing you're gonna do is you have to choose the sky. My pro tip here is choose a sky that doesn't look too different to the original sky. So match the brightness, try to match the color. If you want to change the brightness and color, you will have to change the whole picture so that the mood and the look is just one clean look. You should keep that in mind that will make your workflow way more easy. So, I took that picture here from Shutterstock. Of course, you can choose the picture you want um, from everywhere you want. I just took that because it matches very good. Sometimes just use older pictures from me. Or what I also do is um, I have always my phone with me and always when I see a beautiful sky when I'm out for a walk with Claudia or stuff, um, I make a picture and from there on I work with that and add this as my sky. So, little tip from me, take your phone with you, make your own little gallery so you don't have to pay for some stock footage websites. So, I will have a look that this is matching up, reduce the opacity. What I look now is that the sky is where the sky is and I have a city here in the lower end of the picture and that should be covered by the grass and stuff. So, we're not starting with editing, so don't blame me for the 60 seconds. <laughs> so, um, 
we will split this in two parts. I will show you how fast you can do it, explain a little bit, and afterwards I will show you in detail how to fix some little issues with the picture. So go closer here. So I take my phone, go down to the timer, go to the stopwatch, lay down here and start. I will choose the background layer. I go on the left side to the lasso and will make a very rough and quick selection of the area I want to change to the sky. You don't have to be too precise here because we are working with a mask afterwards but I always try to be as precise as possible. So go up there, there stop it. When you hold down your alt key with your masking you can Re um, remove some masking parts and I see that I'm really bright here on my legs and on my stomach and I try to get rid of that in the mask because it will not work. So after that at the very top I go to select color range. Then this window will pop open. Make sure to make those settings localized colors 130, 100, blah blah blah. Choose that color. With that plus you can choose the brighter color. Hit OK. Damn, we're over the minute. <laughs> okay, I would show you anyways. You can do that in a minute when you don't talk. Alt click here with the quick selection tool and to remove the wrong selection. Make that here, make that here and here. But you see it, it made a quite good job here. Make that here on my face and my base cap on my shirt. Bam, bam, yeah, that should work for the sake of the tutorial. And after that, you just go on the right lower corner, hit on the mask, unlink the mask from the layer, activate the sky, add the mask to the sky, and you're more or less done. Okay, 1 minute 49 seconds. But I can do that under a minute when I don't have to talk. <laughs> but I think 1 minute 50 is quite okay. And for that, as you can see, the picture now looks really good. So when I turn that off and on, the tool did a very, very good job. So what this tool is doing, when you go to select and color range, um, you can select the color you want to mask. So I always go in the sky for a dark area. And then I go to this little plus button to add the other selection and color of the sky. So I go here, add the whites of the sky, and when you hit now, OK, you can of course, and um, the fuzziness can be added as perfect as possible. I most of the time change between 100 and 130. Add this, and as you can see, it makes a really, really good job. So what you can do afterwards, when you made your selection, um, you can see some rough edges around here. And... No, it, it did a really, really good job. As you can see when I scroll straight into me, it's, it's really, really good. It's just some little corners where I have to tweak, but the rest will work fine. And it also would work on that, because when you... Um, go here and then you think it's Instagram, it's this size, nobody would see it. So what I will do now is, first of all, I will uh, lower the opacity of that one. I will go down to 80, makes it a little bit more beautiful. Go that right to the mask. Um, as you saw, I removed this link thing here. What that is doing when you click on the picture and move it... Whoops, yeah, no, there's the link on. Now is the link off. When I move it here, I have totally freedom um, where I want to put my sky. So I want it right here so that the cloud goes straight with my arm. So I go back to the mask, zoom in a little bit, and now I choose my brush tool. Um, and when you work with um, masks, you can remove something with a black and you can bring it back with the white. I personally love the masking tool. It's for me the best tool ever. So what I'm going to do now is I will work with those edges that aren't perfect. So I lower the opacity round about 70 of the brush and then I bring back me myself here. As you can see, I lost a little bit of my leg here. Bring it back. I have a little bit less sky here. 
that's good bring back my pants here a little bit more that looks really really good I also saw that it doesn't did not work really good here at the plant so we'll go bigger here lower the opacity of the brush down to 50 don't work too hard you can always go twice go over the edges and now I will bring back some shadows of the plant so that you don't have those harsh edges here you can hear it I click a lot to work on special points pretty nice bring back the shadows here and on this one and that looks damn really good there's another rough rough one bring back the blend here good that looks good when I turn that off and on it matches the sky really good so what I want to do afterwards is I want to add some contrast some saturation some light so that the picture gets more one so what I do for that is I go for on the left side press D when you press D whatever color you had chosen here for example in white, when you press D it will get black and white after that go right to that go to gradient map and what will happen it's will it will be black and white what you can do with that layer you can change it from normal to soft light and what this will do it will increase the contrast by brightening up the whites and darkening the blacks I always do that on that way because I really like the look of the contrast lower that to 35% get a little bit more contrast after that I duplicate this layer with command G or just make a new gradient map and now I bring that back to normal um, to lower the opacity and go here for around about 5% so I get a little bit more grayish look and what I personally like to do I go to exposure and at the offset when you go here and type for example 100 um, as you saw here in the dark areas it will make those little gray shine give it a little bit more retro look I really like that so now the picture went from here to there I personally really like it um, what you else can do is you can add some light for example you take something like that increase it make it bigger go over here go from normal to screen exactly make it under the adjustment layers make it a little bit bigger so that you get more light take it out for your Sun increase it a little bit more so I don't like the orange so I can go here to the adjustments add some U and saturation when you hold down the alt key between the adjustment layer and your layer you can see it appears this little symbol that means that this layer will just affect the layer under it sorry and what I will want to do now is I will lower the saturation on this one and now as you can see on the picture I have a little bit of light in it yeah and that's it I replaced the sky added some light and contrast and made the picture a little bit more interesting and I could do that in 60 seconds if I would but because I have to talk <laughs> no you see you can do it really quick you get a really big effect and it's not the big hustle to change and you will get way way more beautiful and way more interesting pictures when you're not satisfied with your look of the sky and yeah so thanks for watching and see you on the next tutorial bye guys